This is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Sentangle Teacher. And it's Tuesday and I have a template. Life is better when you're laughing. And so remember on Tuesdays all templates are half price that you can download. So you might want to look and see what there what's there. And today's tangle pattern came about because as I when I drew it, some friends of mine looked at it and thought it looked like something that made me laugh. This is the pattern that I'm going to teach today. And I wrote on the back the, the name of the girl who deconstructed it. And I would say it's Zoom, but I'm sure that in whatever language she is, I think it's Chinese, it is um, not Zoom. But here it is, and here it is, and he thought it, it had a, he just made me laugh when he said what he thought it looked like. And so I thought life is better when you're laughing, and we had a good laugh about it. He worried that he had upset me, but, you know, I don't get upset very easy over different things. So, we're going to do Zoom. So, let me put the template to one side, and I'm going to bring out my tile. And let's see if we can get Zoom in a little on Zoom. So, here we have our tile, and I'm just going to do Zoom without any um, borders or strings or borders. I did do Zoom in a border on my template. When I did the template, I, ha I have Zoom right in here and um, I colored it a little. So, but we're just gonna start out with just kind of a bobble. And then it comes back up and it ends. So that's fairly simple. And we'll do another one. It's a lot like gorgeous, but um, this one goes all the way around. And I'm going to do a one that kind of goes under so that they can kind of overlap. And then you can fill them in with different designs. I, I filled mine in. I did a little kind of a teardrop. Here is one way of filling it in. And you can see that I've filled it in with different things. And then there's this Zune, which is just a little variation. And I will put one of this. I, you just come down, around, and then up. So you make it have just a little bit more of a dip in it. So we'll try it again. I'm not sure I like that one, but we'll we'll just stripe it off. And we got to remember there's no mistake in Zentangle. Only opportunities. So if something doesn't quite turn out, we just keep going. So we'll just put a we could. put a um, center in there, make it so it's echoed on the inside. But the best part about Zoom is it will, you can squeeze it in to other areas. So I squeeze it in on my template. I'm going to show you again. that I squeeze it in right here. 
you see Zune and it comes down I colored it in purple and it was lots of fun and um, when I do a template I usually start with one of my patterns that I really like and then just fill in around it so I started with Dion I really like Dion it's a great center so if you've got a tangle you like start with that and now we're going to uh, color this one you're gonna see how I colored it so we'll back up and see how this was colored it's template Tuesday and I am doing life is better when you're laughing and I already tangled on it and we'll just do a little coloring on our template and I have uh, I'm using a watercolor pencil by Artista and you're gonna say why um, am I using odorless paint thinner when I go to to um, blend this but um, I have my reasons and I'll show you let's just add a little color to this center flower this paper that I'm using is a canvas type finish on it and it does do a little bit different with the watercolor. I'm using a little pot that I have a sponge in and I have filled it with odorless paint thinner and I'm just moistening that sponge I mean the shading stump with that odorless paint thinner and then I'm going to blend And when I blend it with water, it, it just blends too fast and doesn't do what I want it to do. So I like the odorless paint thinner. And I'm not going to um, clean my shading stump. I'm just going to... I might need a little bit more odorless paint thinner on this sponge. See, I just added a little bit more odorless paint thinner on that sponge so that it will soak up a little easier. And when it doesn't act like it wants to blend, I just dip it in the odorless paint thinner and come back to blending I'm going to take my pencil and add that deeper color in here right over the top and blend it out and this will be lots of fun I'm just going to continue to color and add color to this tangle I love adding color to tangles and um, the Artista pencils are lots of fun to use they come they're woodless and so um, when you sharpen them they're easy to sharpen and I sharpen mine so they're inside of a little cage. I catch that watercolor in my little container and then I can use those scraps to do something. I'll do it later. Okay, I picked up a purple and I'm just going to add just like I would shading with my graphite but I'm just going to do it with the watercolor pencil if you don't have watercolor pencils you can use any kind of colored pencil and this odorless paint thinner will blend them but you can see how it it just kind of blends out and gets lighter so 
you can use it just like the graphite. And I am not cleaning off my um, shading stump. I'm just letting those colors kind of subtly blend together. Didn't see this little sand swirl up here. Wasn't paying a lot of attention, I guess. So we'll go ahead and give this little sand swirl its purple dew. And you can just add color wherever you want. And thanks for watching. While I was off camera, I added a little bit of jelly roll. So you'll see some jelly roll accents on here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And share it with your friends. And don't forget, today is uh, Template Tuesday. This template will be available along with several others. And you get them at half price. So thanks for watching and have a great day.